who interrupt me. He's scared. He scared the hell out of me. Let me let the camera just see another reason why this camera. We don't talk about that, girl. Um, I get a lot of, not a lot, but I would say nearly every other video or every other video I have a comment, there we go, of someone who is saying, you know, they look forward to my videos or that my videos are, you know, put them in a better mood. And that's what I want to do. But I, I want to say this because I feel like it needs to be said. Whatever you are going through right now, sis or brother, whatever you are going through, just know that you are loved and know that you're not alone. Whatever you're going through, even though right now, it seems like when you are awake, it is a nightmare. You look forward to going to bed because you can forget about everything. And as soon as you wake up, you know that there's issues that you may or may not have to deal with that day later on. Whatever it is that you're going through, it will get better. I know that it's so cliche to say, and especially when you're in the midst of the storm, quote unquote, you know what I mean? But it will get better if you are praying, whoever you pray to, pray, meditate, eat better, um, <laughs> drink some water, stay hydrated, take a walk. <laughs> Trust the process. Trust the process. It is hard. I know, girl. I need to delete some stuff on this camera, y'all. Hey, y'all, y'all like my workout show? I work out because, it should say I work out because my greedy ass really likes food. <laughs> but you know what it is, y'all, about food? I like snacks. I like to snack on food. I like to eat a lot of different food, y'all. Hold on, let me drink some water. I've been feeling a little dizzy. This morning I was feeling a little dizzy while working out, so I had to cut my workout short. I got this huge mason jar from, um... The Goodwill. Anyway, y'all, it is Thursday, July 5th. Ain't a dang old thing going on around here. Um, it's quiet because my husband just left for work. JV's at school. I've caught up on work. The only thing, other thing I need to do today, which I need to do here in like 20 more minutes, is wash my hair. Something I was gonna say, y'all, I'm going black. Girl, I have been on an emotional roller coaster. I like to watch movies. When I am working, so when I was at the gym, I was watching The Handmaid's Tale, which is a whole nother thing. Um, and then what movie did I watch? I can't remember. But the, the last movie I watched was Still Alice. When I tell you that movie was so emotional, it stars um, Alex Baldwin and Julianne Moore. And it basically has to do with onset early Alzheimer's, which... Is becoming a lot more frequent. Have y'all been? I've been seeing a lot more stories of that. Um, a couple of people, especially in the UK, a couple of women have been diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's in their 30s. Now, I didn't know there was such thing called familia Alzheimer's. It's just horrible. I mean, I used to work for hospice. I know what Alzheimer's looks like at an older age, but to see someone who's working with fairly young kids to get it in their 50s. And like I said, some people have even been diagnosed in their 30s. I don't think people realize that Alzheimer's is basically a long death. I hate to put it like that, but that's that's what it is. It's, a, it's an extremely long death. So y'all, anyway, that was a movie I was watching. And then just, I'm cooking some food right now. Um, I got off the bandwagon. I was eating a lot of carbs. I mean, been eating a lot of carbs, girl, the last two or three days. Which why I know I could not do keto. You can get that. That could get out of my dictionary right now. I ain't nothing ketosis around here because I'm going to eat my carbs. But <laughs> I'm going to eat some tacos. I can eat tacos every week. Like I, and I do. I just about do. I do eat them every week. So, yeah. Um, that's it, y'all. I was going to say I may have found another church. You know, the good thing about being in this 21st century era with technology, you can look at reviews. Most churches have Facebook pages, which is so weird to me, but it is what it is. Even my home church has a Facebook page. Um, and you could just go on the church to look up, you can go on the church's website to look up information on the pastor, look at reviews, Google reviews. Because I told you, the church that I go to, the, these hoes ain't loyal. And for those of you who don't know, the reason why, <laughs> The reason why I call it the These Hoes Ain't Loyal Church is because during church announcements about two years ago, they played the instrumental to These Hoes Ain't Loyal with Chris, what is it, Chris Brown and little, 
that messed me up for a whole year. I didn't go to that church for a whole year because that really messed me up that y'all playing these hoes ain't loyal doing the church announcements. Um, so last, the one thing I wanted to talk about when I said, you know, church was good, but I'm going to say it anyway. I don't know what it is, but huh, we had a guest, guest preacher. And towards the end, I mean, I knew it was coming. Towards the end, he asked for an offering. But why did he ask for a thousand dollars? And let me say this: If God puts it on your heart to give this man a thousand dollars, praise be. But this man set up here, and I'm gonna say he basically begged for a thousand dollars. And don't you know, nearly twenty people went up there. Nearly twenty people went up there and donated. I don't even want to say donation. Their offering was a thousand dollars. Then he said, girl, now this is a guest preacher. Then he said, and I, I guarantee you, you're going to get this money back within seven days. <laughs> I'm like, that is bold as hell. You better, you better have a direct line into God for that, for, to say that. Now, let me say this. I do believe in what we call sowing seed. I do believe in tithing, but what I don't believe is begging at the end. Can I get a, can I get an extra $50? I need 10 more people to give $20. I ended up finding a church. I forgot the name already, but they are Baptists. Um, and the, the pastor has been at this church for 50 years. And it's a small church looking at our guess that it has no more than 200 members, probably less than that, 200 or less members. I'm just eyeballing y'all it's because it's a small congregation. Um, he was with the Board of Education here in Phoenix for 23 years. That piqued my interest. Then when reading his background, girl, when I, when I read this, I just stopped reading. <laughs> he was born and raised in East Texas. So I'm like, all right, we got into East Texas. Y'all, it's, it's something about us fellow Southerners, especially if you're from Texas or the sister state, Louisiana. We tend to stick together. So when we hear that someone else is from Texas, that makes us a little bit more trustworthy. Now, yeah, there are some ratchet churches in Texas and in the South in general. Hello. Well, I'm not going to name, name any names. But that made me feel a little bit more comfortable knowing he was coming from East Texas. And the longevity. He, he started preaching there in 1965. So look, guys. I'm doing really good. <laughs> JP's really good at these. And just, I built this crocodile right here. He built the crocodile. All he's doing is looking at the pictures. Child, it's taking, it's taking me a while, but his little brain is, is pretty good at this. All right, baby. So I'm not gonna, I'm not even helping him. He's just doing it. So you can, you can continue. <laughs> oh look y'all i call myself getting in that pool as soon as i got in because we have a pool where you have to walk in uh, off the ladder right so walked in a few steps my breast was submerged i could feel my my inflammation basically uh, my scars up underneath, but it's been the surgery was May 15th, right? And so I'm like, oh, I immediately step back out and I, I look at my husband. I'm like, I can feel something burning. And he's like, well, yeah, I put a lot of chemicals in here. This is a lot of chlorine. I'm like, bro, this is what the um, tomatoes, tomatillos look like. And I have jalapenos here. You're supposed to use two things. You know, those dried peppers red peppers sometimes you see in the produce section. They're very dry, they're backed up. You're supposed to use that or the long skinny, I think they're called serrano peppers. You're supposed to use that. Um, and all I'm gonna do is place this in my blender here, pulse it a few times, and then stir in um, my onions, my cilantro, and I think I'm gonna stir in some tomatoes too. You normally don't add tomatoes, but I am. Okay, this is what the salsa looks like, okay, before adding anything else. Now, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to allow this to cool down because it's a little, 
yeah it's a little warm I have my chopped onions some tomatoes some cilantro, some cilantro okay um and I'll add a little bit of lemon I think all right I'm gonna go ahead and add my onions normally you just you do white onion but um, it is what it is here's my cilantro and I'm not gonna add a lot of tomatoes um, mix it up like this I'm gonna add some cumin here and some salt yeah you know what I'm gonna take those tomatoes out y'all I know crazy huh I don't like the tomatoes in it I'm gonna take the tomatoes out. Hot, right now it's the high of a hundred a hundred and a hundred and I don't know it's over a hundred hell <laughs> so, it's like a seriously though it's like 107 108 degrees and it'll be this way until dang on near November um, we're gonna go check the mail because I got a message y'all I signed I am very OCD when it comes to my packages y'all heard me talk about this before I signed up for you UPS um, VIP status, so I know exactly when my stuff is delivered. Oh, it's hot, it's so hot, like, and it's dry out here, so it's windy, but it's dry, hot wind, no cool breeze, girl. <sighs> I am full today, is Saturday, by the way. I didn't really vlog earlier today because there's nothing to talk about. No, we did a lot. We went to... Keep going, sweetheart. Keep going. You want me to carry the air vlog? <laughs> um, where did we go, boo-boo? Mm -hmm. Went grocery shopping, of course. And we went to... Went to Chuck E. Cheese's, right? Mm -hmm. And, y'all, I am notorious for... If JB wants to play somewhere, like JB wants to play at McDonald's, we don't eat McDonald's, so... So I bought me some nachos from Rubio's and walked up into McDonald's. But I did like buy, I bought like an iced tea at McDonald's and sat down and he played. Um, what else? That's it. If you don't know, no, because clearly I've done three vlogs now in a row when <laughs> typically they're spaced out, you know, every four or five days or so. Um, yeah, until I get my camera, which I, I haven't even had time to mail off yet. I'm mailing it off Monday morning. Until I receive my new camera, there will be no more hair related videos. Until then, even though I got some new stuff coming in, yo, we're going to hold off. Vlogging, I'm okay on this old camera, but dirty. enough of that. I know y'all tired of me hearing about, talking about it, but I just want to explain if those of you who are wondering where the hair related videos are at. Kinky tresses. Did I get this? Oh, you know what? It was part of a bundle because I'm like, I would never, in all honesty, I wouldn't do avocado. I'm going to try it, but this was part of her bundle. So we have a leave-in, we have a hair oil, and then we have a coconut mango hair butter. Also, for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, which I understand, not everybody's on, you know, everything. Like, I have Twitter. Sorry, I have Twitter, but I don't tweet at all. I just don't. Um, but I am on Instagram quite a lot. What's the point? I did a length check a couple of days ago, um, and I hadn't done one in about seven or eight months. I'm at the longest it is in the front, 18.5 inches. Girl, that's that's a bundle. <laughs> so the longest part of my hair is in the front, right here in the front, right here. The longest part is between 18.5. Some areas were like almost 19 inches right here. On the side, I'm 15. There were some 13. Then the back, I'm between... He gonna get... He gonna get body slammed. And the back is between 12, 13 inches. Y'all, my the shape of my hair is so... And I get comments every now and then. How do you get that shape? Is it cut? Girl, it's called having multiple textures. So I have a natural graduated bob. I mean, I, I just said the back is 13 inches. The front is dang on your 19. So yeah, that's a bit extreme. Hey y'all, it is Sunday evening. Yo, we didn't go to church this morning. I've been feeling a little dizzy. I was a little dizzy yesterday morning, a little dizzy this morning. I notice when I don't drink as much water, I'm a little dizzy. I also have what's called BPPV. 
I mean, I get dizziness from different things, but the main reason is is the um, positional. Basically, it's a positional vertigo. It's a type of vertigo um, when you have particles in your air. Now, I've gotten so bad once that I had to go to my ENT. I do see ear, nose, throat specialist for it, and they had to do the basically a maneuver where they put your head all the way back, and she basically had you to jerk your head around real quick and it breaks up the particles in your inner in your inner ear and she could tell i mean the specialist was able to tell because my eyes go back and forth like this when she does it crazy but right now i can feel a little bit it's okay now i'm okay that's why i'm driving we're gonna go to the dollar tree and go to walmart i gotta run some errands i gotta get some more organizational stuff um for Supplemental homeschool. Yeah, I can't do homeschooling full-time. I just can't tied um, But yeah, I had to send an email to the volunteer coordinator. I'm like look helpful I wasn't supposed to be on the schedule anyway, but this ain't gonna work out. I am gonna be trying the new church um, Next Sunday I'm gonna go by myself and if I like it then the family's gonna go with me this Sunday afterwards I just want to you know get a feel from it for it, you know um, You can see how I did I need, yeah, but I need the folders. I don't need a binder. I need, I do need a notebook. Stay still, baby. Let's get this. For um, school stuff, though, sack lunches, Ziploc bags. I have tons of this stuff at home. I used to get my elf eyeliner here. They don't sell any more. Oh, mercy. You so sweet, Bubba. Cause I wouldn't have. No, I wouldn't pick it up. All right. Let's go. I really don't get anything over here unless it's condiments. Oh sometimes, God, it but sometimes it'd be cheaper cereal. at Walmart. Mom, so all the cereal. Apple bites. <laughs> Y'all, I'm sitting up here. My skin looks horrible lately. I mean. Is a pimple right there I've been breaking out and I've been noticing it for the past week or so and the first thing that I do is when I notice my skin and this is abnormal for me this many pimples and an outbreak like this I don't get outbreaks like this um, one or two yeah but all over no my diet I look at my diet so I'm gonna try to clean up my diet as much as possible I'm trying to think I have been having a little bit more sweets Normally, as far as sweets go, I'll probably have something sweet to eat once a week, but I've been having something sweet to eat almost every day. So yeah, I try to cut off the sweets. Um, listen, I know y'all can't really see me. I'm putting on my sneakers because I'm going to go to the gym. Um, actually, I'm going to go to the UPS. Not UPS, the postal office, which is in another city, because we live on the outside of Phoenix. I gotta go up to Anthem and then come back down, hit the gym, and then go pick up Boo Boo. Um, I know this vlog is getting long and we're spilling into the next week, but y'all, oh, I was gonna tell y'all, I spent the last two days, um, you know, I need to do that. I was thinking about something else. This is July, of course, we're in July, and one more month, technically less than a month, before JV starts kindergarten officially. Let me, let me calm down too. Um, so I've been spending a, a great deal of time just looking at my calendar, making things, everything's okay. We have a meet the teacher in two more weeks. Um, I got to purchase uniforms next week. I just need to purchase his tops. I've already got him some shoes. I've already purchased him pants for this for the winter time, which is going to be like damn near three months from now. He has plenty of, of shorts, but I have to purchase his tops um, for the school colors. I mean, 
just a lot going on just making sure he's prepared i'm going to spend i was supposed to do it this week I, yesterday i just remembered but we have time i'm going to spend the time to go back on the school's website and read and read over their policies i don't want any type of surprises their policies on everything vacations or excuse me sick days sick days quote unquote um school lunches and stuff like that i know that they you have to order it he won't be doing school lunches i know that but breakfast every now and then he does like to eat breakfast food so you know just making sure i'm prepared so i need to make sure that i'm aware of all their policies um or at least go over most of them i also even though this is a great school it's a charter school and i know people who kids go there i am not discontinuing my supplemental learning no i think that's a mistake that a lot of parents make and the funny thing is that i was speaking to another parent who um he was saying how you know his his child is also going to the same school that jv is going to but they're also going to do supplemental learning he's he's an educator actually so i'm going to mostly focus on social skills African studies, it's gonna be more African centric oriented. I ordered a slew of books this morning from thriftbooks.com. Um, I ordered another bookcase to really get myself organized, and I have my notebook here. I've been taking notes for like two days straight, y'all. I spent a good amount of time doing this, but I have all month to get prepared. I just want to start now, and I'm gonna create a curriculum for him. Um, again, mostly African centric based. African American and um, focus on social skills like I said we're gonna do reading we would prefer that he gets introduced to a lot of these subject matters in the house before some outside influences get to him all right so anyway let me go mill off this camera I'm a choke and if anyone even says canon I'm, I want to choke them <laughs> I say, Lord Alright y'all, that's it for this vlog. There. How do you oh how do you feel now? You feel Yeah. You feel better? Huh? You feel better that I took your horrible hat off? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, now you stop crying. <laughs> that little laugh. A little giggle. <laughs> There's something in between his legs blocking. See that? Blocking him from going over. Hey. <laughs> My hair is in a scarf. And uh oh okay. Alright then. You want me you want a kiss? Are you gonna stop? Give me a kiss. <laughs>